Okay. Today we are making, well, first of all, hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. So today we're doing one of the recipes that we use when we have leftovers. And today we're talking about leftover turkey, which I've chopped up. <clears throat> we're making turkey pot pie instead of chicken pot pie. I know I'm going to say chicken, but you know, guys know I mean turkey. So for this recipe, I need, of course, gobble, gobble, gobble. I need onions, shallot, and three cloves of garlic, mushrooms, eggs for egg wash. I need a vegetable. Madeline bought a nice uh, medley from uh, ShopRite. There's corn, there's peas, there's carrots, beans in there, heavy cream, a little bit of uh, beef stock, some terrines, butter, salt and pepper to taste, as Madeline always says. So we're gonna get right to chopping. I'm gonna chop up my mushrooms, my garlic, my onions, and my shallots. Here we go. This is the easy part. He's a better chopper than me. I, I, I don't make it too fine. I leave it a little bit of a rough chop. And you don't have to use shallots if you don't want to, or you don't have to use onions if you don't want to. But this is how I do it. My beautiful shallot here. I like shallots. Some of the best shallots are a little, they're, they're a little sweeter. So I like the beautiful taste that you get out of it. And the mushrooms are also an option. Like if I was making this for my sister, I wouldn't use them because she don't like uh, uh, mushrooms. But I do, so guess what? We we'll use them. And me and Madeline are also big fans of onions, right, man? Oh, we love our onions. We really, and we love mushrooms too. And we really do. We love all the uh, maybe not so healthy things. A little bit of both. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. You know what it is? All these things, as Madeline always says, these are all flavors. I cut these in half and then. Don't forget it too. This might look like a lot of mushrooms, but mushrooms, you guys know, they shrivel down to nothing, so. I'm gonna finish cutting the mushrooms and we'll be back, right baby doll? We'll be back. Look how cute he is. <laughs> All right, so we're melting our butter. First thing we do is we put our onion and shallots in here, bella bella. We're gonna make this nice and soft and translucent. It's gonna take about seven, eight minutes and then uh, we'll be back. Back. All right, so our onions, oh, it smells so good. They're so nice good. and sauteed. We're gonna put our garlic and our mushrooms the onions went about seven, eight minutes. The mushrooms and the garlic are gonna go for like another two minutes. And then uh, we'll be right back, guys, all right? We'll see, oh my God, it's starting to smell so good already. Hey, what's next? Oh my God, this is ready to be eaten all by itself. So next, we're gonna put a little flour. I'm gonna put about a third of a cup of flour, sprinkled a little bit here, a little bit there, bella bella, all right? Usually you could put your vegetables in here right now, but since we're using frozen vegetables, there's no need. We're gonna let this go for about two minutes, and then I'm gonna add my vegetables. Let that go for like another minute, and then we go from there. We'll be right back, guys. Hey, we're back. Putting our frozen vegetables in there. You can use fresh too. If you use the fresh, you have to put them a little earlier, let them cook, but we're using totally Americana. This is an Americana dish, so we're gonna let this go for about another minute or two. And then we're gonna go to our beautiful, beautiful heavy cream. I know I said heavy cream, but the broth first. We're gonna let this go, because now we're creating a roux. We're gonna keep stirring it for a few minutes. It's gotta get all nice and thick with the flour, get the temperature. And then this is gonna take about, it's gonna take about two, three minutes, maybe a little longer. We'll let you know in the family talk and taste exactly what the times are, right? But I would say two, three minutes from what I see here. Oh God, this smells so good. It does. You want me to keep going or we'll be back? No, you keep going. All right. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to see the thickness. Oh, look how nice and thick it's getting, see, look. Look how nice and thick it's got. See how it's starting to get all together? Mm -mm -mm. And that's from the flour, right? That's from the flour. 
We're gonna put a little bit of heavy cream. I'm not a big fan of the heavy cream in here, but it makes it cream delicious. Just a couple of ounces. And now we're gonna add our seasonings. What are we gonna put in here, man? You know what we're gonna salt put. Salt and pepper to taste. Salt and pepper to taste, oh God. Salt and pepper to taste. I'm, I'm not a big fan of salt either, but you tell me this is good, right, man? Beautiful. Oh, and okay. I have the pepper here, baby. We'll put a little bit of Tanya seasoning in here. Just a little bit. You can use fresh parsley. You don't have to. You could. Any seasoning that you like. I told him. He said, get me fresh parsley. I said, I never have parsley in chicken, turkey or chicken pot pie. <laughs> we had a little spat. <laughs> Salt and pepper. All right, so I'm going to let this get nice and thick. That All looks right. delicious. Look at that. Creamy, delicious. And then we'll go from there, guys. We'll be back. Eat up. <laughs> Here's the start of the show. Leftover turkey. I'm going to put this in here. Now we're going to let all these flavors go for a little bit. And then we're going to start forming out our pie crust. Oh, yeah. Here and we the go. turkey already has delicious flavor. Yeah, we're gonna let this go just for like, I like to let this go low, maybe about five minutes. So they're all nice, all the flavors really marry each other, really good. And we'll be back. We'll be right back. All right, my love, what are you doing now? Well, I'm spreading the pie dough, pie crust dough. I got a, a four inch terrine here. Now, uh, this is the one that I made at the bakery. Let me know if you want to see the recipe, all right? Let me know in the notes. Let me know if you want to see the recipe. I'll be glad to show you guys. So this is the inside. I'm, I like to do it in terrines, because then if you don't, if you can make them ahead of time, and then if you don't want to use them all, you can put them in the fridge, the freezer, whatever you want, take them out, room temperature, then pop them in the oven, and you got dinner really quick. So it's a good way to meal prep. I don't use the knife, I'm sorry. I'm just so used to doing it like this at the bakery. You got a beautiful, beautiful pie. Now I got small ones. So we're gonna do all of these and then we'll be back guys. Enjoy. Okay, looking good. Yeah, look at our beautiful filling here. Look at that. Look at that. Mutakino. Gobble, 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 gobble. It's a great idea for leftovers. And Really, you don't lose anything. Wow, you're putting a lot in there. Hey man, this that's is... gonna be one filled pie. Whoa! <laughs> I like to put a little bit around the edges, just so uh, to secure them. It's the baker in him. A little bit. Here's the top. You can crimp them, you could do really whatever you want. But that's basically what you do. Now I'm gonna poke a couple of uh, holes in here. Just to let some of that steam out. This is the big one that we made. Then we're gonna give it a little bit of a washy wash in the oven at 375. I'm gonna start with like 25 minutes and then see how we go from there. This is gonna give it a nice shine. And there it is. Beautiful. Turkey pot pie. We're gonna finish the rest and we'll be right back. All right, look at that. We just pulled them out of the oven. Look at that. All right, here we go. There's baby dog. I'm the taster tonight. Yes, you are. Oh, wow, man. These are hot. Oh my God. Look at that creamily delicious. Say. Oh. Good. This is heavenly. This is almost better than Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, we don't give we don't throw away leftovers, right? We don't. We use them. All right, guys. Enjoy your Delicious. night. Delicious. Ciao, ciao, belly.